if you look at internet computer, uh, what we are is actually we're a decentralized cloud. So what that means for me is uh, it's really cool because um, there's uh, no other decentralized cloud that's fully on chain, which also means that we're actually complementary to a lot of blockchain projects uh, that's out there. We're actually a cloud infrastructure. So, for example, if you're a small country, okay, maybe a high island country, and you don't have the funds, you may not have the right geography, right, and it just doesn't make sense, or maybe your country is too small, it just doesn't make sense for you to have your own data center. So, what's the solution? This uh, infrastructure allows you to create your own sovereign cloud. So smaller countries or corporations, they're, you know, they're able to have this uh, totally sovereign cloud that is you know, secure, that doesn't have a backdoor, you know, like AWS or Google, and doesn't have a kill switch. You know? and, um, and if you look at you know, uh, you know, industries like new space, for example, you know, a lot of people are talking about you know, what SpaceX is doing, Essentially, you know, what they're doing is part of new space where they're deploying constellations, right, like Starlink, you know. Um, but Starlink, in effect, is a U.S. network, right? And clearly that does not work for all the countries in the world. And inside the new space, in the low Earth orbit, there's something like space for hundreds of constellations. So this is really the, the new trend, isn't it? So, so how would you facilitate communication, you know, with a network of satellites? You know, somewhere up in the sky in the low of orbit, you know, in the most efficient way possible. You know, and I believe blockchain is a part of that solution. So that, that's what I have to say about IoT. I think uh, it's uh, very natural for the IoT to, to merge with uh, blockchain.